In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This morning we we'll say our rosary for peace in the world. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. <coughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The five glorious mysteries, the first mystery, <coughs> the resurrection of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The sec second mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven. 
<coughs> Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. (coughs) Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. (coughs) Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. (coughs) As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The third mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit on the apostles. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth mystery, the assumption of our blessed mother into heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. amen. <coughs> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <coughs> As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth mystery. Our mother is crowned Queen of Heaven and Queen of Earth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, Show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating on these mysteries, of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Queen of Peace, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. I welcome all of you to Mass today as you come to celebrate God's love for all people, his generosity towards all of us. As we do so, we acknowledge our sins. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, and in your kindness grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, is it true that you do not serve my gods and that you refuse to worship the golden statue I have erected? When you hear the sound of horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, bagpipe, or any other instrument, are you prepared to prostrate yourselves and worship the statue I've made? If you refuse to worship it, you must be thrown straight away into the burning, fiery furnace. And where is the God who could save you from my power? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to King Nebuchadnezzar, Your question hardly requires an answer. If our God, the one we serve, is able to save us from the burning, fiery furnace and from your power, O King, he will save us. And even if he does not, then you must know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the statue you have erected. These words infuriated King Nebuchadnezzar. His expression was very different now as he looked at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He gave orders for the furnace to be made seven times hotter than usual and commanded certain stewards from his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the burning, fiery furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar sprang to his feet in amazement. He said to his advisers, Did we not have these three men thrown bound into the fire? They replied, Certainly, O king. But he went on, I can see four men walking about freely in the heart of the fire without coming to any harm. And the fourth looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar explained, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He has sent his angel to rescue his servants, who put in their trust in him, defiled the order of the king, and preferred to forfeit their bodies rather than serve or worship any god but their own. This is the word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, you are blessed, Lord God of our, sorry, to you glory and praise forevermore. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed, Lord God of our fathers. To you glory and praise forevermore. Bless your glorious holy name. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed in the temple of your glory. To you, praise and praise forevermore. You are blessed on the throne of your kingdom. To you, glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed who gaze into the depths. To you, glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed in the firmament of heaven. To you, glory and praise forevermore. Please stand to greet the gospel. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. Blessed are those who, with a noble and generous heart, take the word of God to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. 
blessed and honoured to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. To the Jews who believed in him, Jesus said, If you make my word your home, you will indeed be my disciples. You will learn the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered, We are descended from Abraham, and we have never been the slaves of anyone. What do you mean you will be made free? Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, everyone who commits sin is a slave. The slave's place in the house is not assumed. The son's place is assured. So if the son makes you free, you'll be free indeed. I know that you are descended from Abraham, but in spite of that, you want to kill me because nothing I say has penetrated into you. What I, for my part, speak of is what I have seen with my father. But you, you put into action the lessons learned from your father. They repeated, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you are Abraham's children, you do as Abraham did. As it is, you want to kill me when I tell you the truth, as I have learned it from God. That is not what Abraham did. What you're doing is what your father does. We were not born of prostitution, they went on. We have one father, God. Jesus answered, if God were your father, you would love me, since I have come here from God. Yes, I've come from him, not that I came because I chose. No, I was sent and by him. The Gospel of the Lord. In the first reading, King Nebuchadnezzar is important not because his name is difficult to pronounce, because he was, like most kings, anxious about his control and authority and power. These three friends were a threat to it because they were important in his royal court. They had worshipped a god, not Nebuchadnezzar's god, not the golden idol he had made. So they were a threat to him. And like all powerful men, he decided to eliminate the threat, put them to death. That would put an end to any speculation that their God was greater than the Nebuchadnezzar. So he put them into the fire, expecting them to burn to death. And they, for their part, went to the fire rather than denounce their God, rather than have false worship of Nebuchadnezzar's God. And so Nebuchadnezzar had to admit that their God was greater than his when he saw them walking about in the fire unharmed. And so for us in today's world, there are times we anticipate pain or disappointment or things not working out the way we want them. It's important to remain faithful to God, not to lose heart in what God offers us, not to reject God because there might be suffering involved. God will take care of us in all suffering. Let us stand and pray. (coughs) 
We pray to God, our Father. We pray for a world that is full of violence and injustice and wrong. As people worshipping false gods, that they will listen to the God we believe in, our God, and live according to his teaching. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who are sick, especially those suffering from mental illness. We pray for their healing, and strengthening, and hope. Lord, hear us. We pray for our families and those we love. They will be blessed by God and trust God. Lord, hear us. For a moment, we pray for your intention at Mass, whatever it might be. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who have died and all whose anniversaries occur at this time. Remember especially Elizabeth McKay, who died at the beginning of the week. And his funeral takes place in St. Joseph's later on this week. May she be at peace with God in heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord. They offer this anniversary mass, first anniversary mass for Michelle O'Hare that she too is at peace with God in heaven. We pray for her husband, two sons, and family circle in their grief and sense of loss. Lord, hear us. God, our loving Father, we make these prayers in faith through Christ our Lord. Bless to you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we received this bread we offer you, work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honour of your name, and grant that they may come remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, that through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment in the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. This is here comes the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a Jew born, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Michelle. You have called from this word to yourself. Grant that she was made worthy to share in the suffering with your son, in a death like his. She may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy in us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever.
At the Saviour's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope, the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your Church. Graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. The Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called the Supper of the Lamb.
Let us stand and pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine. They may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless all of us today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.